Well, it's another beautiful morning in Red Dead Online. We've got the new Blood Money content officially out, and in today's video, we're going to see if it's even worth doing. Can you make a decent amount of money from the Blood Money contracts? And that's exactly what we're going to be testing out today. We've got ourselves uh, about f a little over 50 Capitale, and we're going to be doing the Covington Emerald Heists or robbery on ruthless difficulty to see how much money we can actually make from this and see if the blood money update is really even worth doing now there's a couple different ways to get capitale you could do it from doing the crimes from the strangers which doesn't seem to net you a lot of capitale but the other reason is the way that rockstar actually wants you to get capitale and that's to buy it from the fence for three gold bars for every ten. It's not great, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I guess that's what we get for complaining about having to pay gold for jobs. Uh, now we don't have to pay gold for jobs, but we have to pay a metric buttload of gold to do the good parts of the jobs. Now, uh, I've gotten maybe 10 Capitale from doing the crimes. So maybe it won't be that bad, but let me know in the comments below how much Capitale you've gotten from doing the crimes, and uh, hopefully it's not as bad as I think it is. Uh, but regardless, we are going to be doing the Ruthless Difficulty Covington Diamond Heist Robbery thingy maboober, and we're going to see if it's even worth getting this Capitale. I really wish Joe would shut up. Uh, we got the Covington Emerald, and we can adjust the difficulties by hitting the left and right uh, pad. And we can go up to the Ruthless Difficulty. At this difficulty, you will face more enemies, and they will be more resilient and highly skilled. Higher difficulty will, healed a, will yield a higher reward. At the lowest difficulty, we got $75 for 15 Capitale. Covington Emerald. It was found some years ago on the island of Guarma and procured by Mr. Luther Covington, the steel magnet. Like all your philanthropists, Mr. Covington is hungry for publicity, so he was only too happy to offer his prize jewel to the state's fair. It is traveling west by train under the protection of the San Denis Police Department. You should expect the area to be under very careful guard, though I recommend you speak to the station clerk he is a man who is keen to help our organization. All right. So last time we did this, we didn't talk to the station clerk. We just like went into the station and then we had to get on the train. <laughs> um, but that's what we're going to... looks like that's exactly what we got to do this time. I'm wondering if you can actually do this stealthily or not. I, I assume at some point in time all hell breaks loose pretty much no matter what and probably doing this on ruthless difficulty by myself most likely not the best idea if i were to you know to guess but we found a pretty decent way into the station because if it's like it was last time this is actually blocked off down here so we need to find an alternate route to said station Yep, no public trains and not all day because we got that diamond and the diamond isn't even in a safe or anything. So he's pushing everybody away and if we try and go through that way, they're going to aggro us and try and murder our faces. So if we go through here, wait, there's a canoe back there? Why is there a canoe? I swear to God, I am not using a canoe. I am not escaping with an emerald on a canoe. All right, I don't see it. There's a, there's a guard over there. And there's some guards over there. But we should be all right if we just run right across here. All right, yeah. So this counts as having talked to the station clerk, I guess, maybe. Unless... Hey there. How you doing today? Collect a note. Oh. I got something of interest to you. Apparently, this note's got some details on extra goods the lawman's keeping under wraps. Oh. oh. But sure, it'd be worth nabbing. You can keep it all, too. Some kind of bonus, I expect. Going for a score to grab all the fixes, right? More in the pocket. Never hurt nobody. Yeah, That's more in the pocket. For you. Never Watch hurt anybody. Lawman's got a lot of badges out there today. Especially by that train. Oh, man. For any funny business. 
So the, the train's going to leave in three minutes, and we've got additional loot stored all over the place. Interesting. See, we didn't do this the first time. Have you ever seen fireworks? Now I wonder... Oh my god, they've got it stashed literally all over the place. So, okay, there's a chest right here. What do we got? Uh, take a gold pocket watch. A potent miracle tonic? Oh my god. Really? Setting off fireworks could distract the guards. Oh! That's nifty. We can... Oh my god, we can set off fireworks. How cool is that? So I actually really like... Uh, the blood money stuff itself. I don't like that the guards have disappeared off the map. I don't know if they're still going to aggro at this point. Unless we try and get onto the train. Because it, it's weird that they're not showing up on the map now. Like, they're not being aggressive. But I definitely want to set off these fireworks. All right, it looks like we're getting pretty close. I wonder if getting those other chests are worth it. Because we know that this train is going to be dipping out here real soon. Oh my god, it's on the boat? What? I can't wait for like a boat heist and stuff. Oh my god, there's dynamite here? He's a dock worker. Do I have to do I have to knock him out? <laughs> oh my god, look at all this dynamite. Sweet baby Jesus. And then we got a plunger. Oh boy. -o. <laughs> Alright. So the guards are gonna be distracted. Oh my god, please don't fall in the water. Please don't fall in the water. Okay. We've got two more chests. Careful how you move. Man. We're gonna avoid getting onto the train until we need to. Oh shoot. Oh my god, they're all looking the direction that I am. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, the guards got distracted, all right. Looking the exact direction that I reside in. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, our train left, baby. And the chests that we need are on that train, so that's nice. But they definitely know we're coming. Oh, boy. Is that dude on a... Oh, yes, he is. Oh, my God. <laughs> that could have been real bad. All right, we need to find a way onto this. Oh, this is bad. We're not going to be able to get onto the train until maybe after this bridge, even. Tell you what, my aim is no good today. All right, so it looks like we got something going on inside of here. I can't, I suddenly can't climb. Okay, that's cool. Oh, oh, that's, that's even more cool. Unfortunately, I still can't climb up this thing. So I'm like screwed unless I go up closer to where the freaking Maxim guns are. I, I literally can't progress further onto the train. Sweet baby Jesus, we're on. Oh my god, did they shoot my horse? Oh my god, duck. 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 Get undercover. Oh my god, nothing is working. I can't get undercover. I can't climb. Oh my god, there we go, finally. Oh, this dude over here. <laughs> oh yes. A glitch in my favor, finally. And we found the Capitale, baby. We've definitely used more potions than we'll probably make from this. 
and that's because of, I'm rusty. But at least if you're better than me, we'll know how much money you can make. So now we need to take this to the drop-off point. But I think we still have the option to maybe try and get um, those chests that are over there. But if it's just like a gold pocket watch and stuff, I mean, is that even worth it? Horse. Horse. All right, you want to get up in close and personal with me with a shotgun? Fine. Fine. Poor horses. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Hi, where did you come from? All right, we got to get rid of this damn thing. I decided to go back and get these chests that were along the train route here uh, just to see what they, what they get. It doesn't seem like the cops ever stop coming for you throughout this too. It's not like a legendary bounty hunt where you finally kill them all and then you're done. They just keep coming. Non-stop. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's just open this and see if it's even worth it. A gold something. Jointed bracelet. It's not worth it. These dudes stored this kind of stuff all the way out here. Okay, take this god dang emerald. All is well. And please, for the love of God, give me a bunch of money. You have the emerald. Incredible. The look on Covington's face when he hears about this will be just as priceless. Of course it will. Until next time, my friend. All right. The moment of truth. How much money did we not make from this? You can do that a lot faster, too, if you ignore the chest. We got... Oh, Crimes Award. 1,000 XP, $191. Uh, and that was for 25 Capitale. And I used about 10 tonics, which I don't even know how much those tonics are worth, but I bought them all on a discount. Um, but if you... I guess if you... Well, we, I guess the real question is, how much are these gold bits going to sell for? Right, so the gold pendant necklaces are five bucks a pop. Oh, so that's yes. ten gold from or ten dollars from that. Gold pocket watch is seven. And then the gold jointed bracelet was four. So I mean that's an extra twenty dollars that we got from it by, by looting those valuables. So we maybe so I guess it's about ten bucks per chest, so it would have gotten an extra thirty. So that would have been about two hundred and twenty. And there's a cooldown on the missions, and you potentially have to pay gold bar for the Capitale. I think I'll pass. I guess in terms of cash, it's about on par with the Moonshiner roll. Aside from just finding out how difficult it's going to be to acquire all of the Capitale. What's the cooldown left on this? So I've got another 32 minutes, so I think it's a... It's about you like a 45 minute to an hour cooldown. Shut day. up, Joe. God, nobody likes you. Um, not that great. I don't know. Maybe it'll be more interesting. I imagine they're going to be introducing more robberies like that. So we've got one. They're probably going to be drip feeding one a week, similar to how they did the legendary bounties back in the day. Maybe we'll get cooler ones. I mean, I did like the mission. Uh, don't get me wrong. I did like the mission. I like that there was different things you could do in it. Uh, maybe there's more ways to get more money from it. it. Remains to be seen how difficult it's going to be to get the Capitale. And if we can optimize it to be able to get a decent amount of money from it. I don't know. But anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.